I dance with Matt, sort of socially, because he's one of my besties, but um, it's just a lot of this. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> is that what he does in Morbius? Um, is yeah, it Morbius there is or a... Morpheus? Uh, Morbius. 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 There's a lot of sort of like, arms and shimmying. What am I doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Billy, congratulations on the new series. Thank you. Um, honestly, I love the first season so much and I loved your performance so much as well, so I'm really mm, pleased it's come thank back. Thank you. Um, so, Susie looks so much fun to play and throughout your career, you've played so many fun and interesting characters. Um, so I have to ask you, and yeah. it's a, a tough one to start off with. Is Susie your favorite character that you've ever played? I don't think she's my favorite. Um, she might be the she might be the most fun, mm. but she's also quite it. She and it is quite exhausting <laughs> <laughs> as a part to play yeah. for that length of time. Just because um, you're playing someone who's in a constant state of like reactivity, um, and um, I think that is wearing in a way that I'm not always entirely aware of as I'm filming. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, that you do a lot and you cover a lot of stuff in I Hate Susie. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a lot. It's it's a lot, but it's it's also it's potentially the most varied acting role I've done as well. Um, wait, I'm realizing it is actually my favorite acting role. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, but there are other parts that I've played that are um, are kind of like broad comedy and and they're sort of fun and easier for it if you know what I mean everything has its sort of place and um, and sometimes you need to pepper the like heavier roles which I think this is one of um, with the sort of the, the yeah the just the lol role the lol role the lol role <laughs> I love that um honestly I reckon that's why people love you so much because you just you never shy away and you always commit to taking on really interesting <laughs> fun characters oh um, that's Susie nice is Susie's nice. fun she's definitely one of them she's a bit um, of a monster which is fun so there's a there's a lot to unpack in the first episode uh, but one of the things I can really relate to is house sharing um, <laughs> so I'll be honest, one of my toxic traits whilst I was house sharing was I used to love leaving passive aggressive post-it notes. Do you have any of your own annoying household habits? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was just thinking, I have I left post-it notes? Yes, I have. Yes, it's just the perfect way to be like, oh, whose who's milk is this? It's, I have it's one milk. in all my choices that says wipe your butt. <laughs> Otherwise, you stink. <laughs> That's more to the kids. Um, what else have I got? <laughs> that really is the only one that stays up all year round. Although my kids have slightly um, altered it because they find it really embarrassing when their friends now come over. There's like an white people, otherwise, you stink. Um, uh, but I have loads of um, yeah annoying sort of demands in the house. Um, but you know, that's it's sort of unremarkable stuff like, you know, turn the lights off, um, put your shoes away, take your <laughs> in wet towels off the bed, you know, just yeah. the classics. See, that wouldn't annoy me in a house. I'll be I'll be honest. I'm wet I'm towels on the bed. No, I'm with you. Like yeah, that wouldn't annoy me if I saw a post-it note saying, pick up your towel, I'd be like, okay, that does make sense. What's an unreasonable uh, post-it note? Uh, well, I used to just oh, get so annoyed. Oh, it's the Passag ones. Yeah, I used to just get so annoyed when people like nicked our bread. And I'm like, that's our bread, though, Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Like... Well, we actually have that in our house, <laughs> even though we live as a family. <laughs> my sons have, like, my kids all have separate snack boxes. Right. There we go. They wanted it. What an exclusive. I think it's smart. <laughs> I think it's a smart, smart thing. She's doing it. I'm doing, She's doing it. it. Are you happy with everyone hating you? Oh, no, it's not lovely. So the new series starts with Susie dancing live on TV. Um, so I have to ask you, if, if you were asked to do a live TV dance with any of your previous co-stars from any of your previous projects, who would you choose? Okay. Um, uh, Danny Mays. Because Great Danny show. Mays is a really good dancer. So if we were going, we, if we were competing, I'd probably go for the strongest dancer. I was really hoping you'd say Matt Smith because people love his dancing in Morbius. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it. Oh my God. 
once these interviews are finished, Google. Oh, Matt is Smith it good? Morbis. It's amazing. It's iconic. People wow. Are loving it. So there you wow. Go. Um, I dance with Matt sort of socially because he's one of my besties, but um, it's just a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Is that what he does in Morbius? Um, is yeah, it Morbius there, there is or a, Morpheus? Uh, Morbius. 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 There's a lot of sort of like arms and shimmy and what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so obviously Susie goes through so much in the first season and from what I've seen, she goes through even more in the second. Um, mm. So I was wondering, is there a storyline, without giving away spoilers, but is there a storyline that you're particularly proud of in season two? I sort of love this, I love the storyline of her being told frequently to just be herself and her not really knowing who she actually is. And by the time she gets to that point, um, in the end, um, there's this, oh, it's a spoiler territory, but there's this, there's this sort of, there is something quite sad because as she's, as she's coming to terms with who she is and, and being incredibly vocal about that and why she is the way she is, um, it's it sort of ta it's stolen from her quite uh, all too soon, basically. Um, and I think what we love about this show is that uh, about this character and about um, when we started writing it, we we talked a lot about people like um, well, we talk a lot about Britney Spears all the time, but you know Britney Spears. Um, Caroline Flatt, Amy Winehouse, all the women who have had a, you know, what people would call a sort of public meltdown. And actually what we wanted to talk about was, you know, if you saw the journey that led these women, but any women, um, to this point, would it actually be um, an unravelling or um, would it be a woman gone mad, a woman gone crazy, or would, there, would the outcome be understandable? reasonable in their minds or predictable. Um, so following those sort of stories felt really important to both of us and it's, it's the storyline that I'm sort of most obsessed with. But then I love the joy of the dance competition because that's like the perfect tonic. Yeah, of course, yeah. The low roll. The low roll. The dancing low roll. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I love that. That's a lovely answer. It'd be great to see a little bit more of the real Susie. It's not the Susie they know. They hate the Susie they know. And finally, I won't give too much away, but there's a real sense of the importance of uh, Christmas in the new series. Um, and obviously Christmas is fast approaching. So what is your favorite Christmas movie and what is your favorite Christmas song? Oh my God. Okay, so my favorite Christmas movie is, um, actually I've got a, I've, let me start by saying I love Christmas. I think It's a Wonderful Life is amazing, but I can't do it every year because it's so upsetting and um, it's a bit of a Debbie, you know what I mean? But I, there is a time and a place for it. Um, every year, Love Actually. Yes. Every year, Love yeah. Actually. Um, and every year, The Grinch with the kids as well. They love The Grinch. So yeah, it's those in, oh, oh the Home Alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. So I'm not. I'm not making this up. Last week it was my birthday. It's obviously quite near Christmas. So put on the Grinch while eating birthday cake at like <laughs> half seven in the morning. So I'm totally with you. The um, Grinch is just epic. That was amazing. Thank you Yay, so much. It was so thank lovely to you. Talk to you. Thanks so much. Um, yeah. Congratulations on the show. Um, and also, obviously, I don't know if we're still film filming or not, but. When I was 14, I watched you in Treats. Oh my God. Yeah. So I left school early to go to London, to go to the West End, to go and see Billy Piper in Treats. Oh so my God. this feels mad, but I'm interviewing you. Oh my God. Yeah. Gosh, that's like 15 years ago. I know, it's crazy. But yeah, I, I was thinking about it over the weekend because obviously I knew Not I was interviewing you. Not a great you. play. I, well, I loved it. Oh. Genuine, no, I genuinely loved it because I was like, Obviously, I was, was thinking about like I'm interviewing Billy, and I was like, that was probably the first time where I thought, if I want to work in entertainment, slash move to London. The hair playmate, they were like half houses and everything. They were just. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's so cute. Oh yeah, that's not how I remember it. But, uh... oh, thank you so no much. It was nice so lovely to, to meet see you. Billy. Take care. You too. You too. Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Snow Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.